Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome, welcome to today's video. So it's actually October 11th. So it's been, um, I think it's been almost two weeks since Hurricane Ian hit our area. And um, that's a long time now, I feel like, but it feels like it went by really fast as far as like the numbers go, but it felt really slow as far as like the days go, if that makes sense. Because obviously without having power, water, all those things just makes the days go by slower. But with that being said, we are officially letting our horses out for the first time. I don't wanna say actually first time because we already had let them out a couple days after the hurricane because I really needed them to stretch their legs and I knew what was gonna happen um, in the days leading. We were gonna have to leave them in the barn a lot. So I wanted them to stretch their legs, get all their nerves out and stuff from all the craziness from the hurricane. But as you guys know, our pastures have been super flooded, so they haven't been allowed out of their stalls ever since that day. So I'm gonna let you guys watch all that footage because it was actually really fun to watch and see them be really excited. So that's what's gonna happen first in this video, just so you guys can see. But ever since then, they've been in their stalls. And today, the primary thing that's happening in this video is that we are finally letting our horses out. And I'm so excited. They've never been stalled this long ever. My horses, since I've had them, have always been on either pure pasture um, and then just <laughs> half turn in, half turn out. So this has been a long time for them and I will give it to them. They have been so good, not too antsy or things like that. Of course, as I say that, Cash is like hitting a stall. But we're gonna let three horses in the back pasture and um, two horses over in the cow pasture. So I'm really excited. The front pasture is still a lake, so we're not even gonna try that one. It's too dangerous up there anyways because there's still the huge down pine tree that probably has a huge hole where all the roots were. So we're not even going to the front pasture, so just the back pasture and the cow pasture. And of course, it does look like we have some rain coming today, so I wanna make sure I get them out and get them some time before more flooding occurs. So if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are excited to see finally the horses going out after like 14 days, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos like these. <laughs> We've let some of the horses out back here. Look at her. She wants to stretch her legs so badly. So we've let her back here just to graze on some grass a little bit. Excited to be out, huh? We're opening up some of the stalls just so they can stretch their legs. We just had Blaze and Cash out here a minute ago. We're gonna bring Trigger and Louie out. Still trying to think maybe we might bring them over to the cow pasture, not sure. But right now, we're just letting them get out of a 12 by 12 stall, see each other. They really miss each other. Look at these two. <laughs> no, you don't can't go in there, buddy. He's like, I wanna see what it's like out there. Such a sweet girl. You're happy to be out of there, huh? Stretching your legs. So what we're gonna do is we can't put all five horses up with the cows because it's still a lot underwater, but there is some high ground. So we need to pick like the calmest horses to go over there. So what we're thinking is we're gonna put June, Blaze, and Trigger over on the cow side and then Louie and Cash can come back here and they can hang out back here for a little bit. It's not the best, but, and then we can switch them around. I just don't know if Louie will want to be caught once he's over there. Might set the lead ropes because we're going to walk him over there probably through our backyard. So that's how it's going to go.
he just got done rolling again. He's so happy to be out here. Luckily, it is decently dry right here. But then it gets pretty wet over here and they've definitely tore this pasture up. But I guess the pasture is at least my worries right now. Because I'm just happy that they get to stretch their legs and run. They ran so much and we're so excited. But they're obviously a lot calmer now. Tomorrow we'll switch out June, Blaze, and Trigger for Louie and Cash so they can open up their legs. It's just, I'm really grateful I did not let them all out together because they would have either gotten hurt from slipping or broke a fence or something like that. So I think the plan that we have going is going good. We got our hay delivery today. So it's like maybe day four after the hurricane. I'm not really sure actually. It's so hard to keep track of the days because it's just, you wake up, you don't know what day it is because the day before you didn't go to bed with power and it's just really confusing. The lights are always dark or anything like that. I don't know guys, I can't even speak. I feel like so tired and we have a generator thankfully so I'm so grateful for that. But um, my showers are really cold so at least I have showers though so I am so grateful. It's just our worlds have all been twisted upside down and that's just what's happening. Um, and we sleep next to our generator outside of our house. Like it's outside of our house, but it's so loud. So I don't get like a great night's sleep and we have to wake up really early because we are back to work really early because we have to use all the daylight that we possibly can. Because when it's dark, it's literally dark. And I put the lights on with the generator. We kind of switch off for the barn and stuff to do the barn at night. Anyways, we got our hay truck today and we got so much hay, so much more than we even planned to get because our hay truck was actually supposed to come Tuesday the day before the hurricane. And now I just don't know what's gonna happen for our future right now. So I got so much hay because I don't even know when the water is all gonna recede. So I just need to get enough hay so that basically their hay is gonna become their grass for the cows. I got 40 bales for the cows. We got our 60 bales for these horses. I got 40 bags of shavings. Just so much stuff just to make life normal for the horses in our life in the form of hay and supplies. So we are in the barn now. It's like almost 11 o'clock just because today has been such a crazy day. Mike's phone has been blowing up because the line of work that he does is now super, super in need because obviously he does a lot of tractor work, fencing repairs and things like that. And on top of us helping our community, our neighbors and trying to do the best that we can here to have some normal life. So that's been an adjustment, so busy. So we got our hay pretty early today and we are just now getting to it. So we've been working to clear all this out right now. He's been bringing it to the cows. Cash is so bored probably that he's found a new son of love for the pallet jack. <laughs> So we have all of our cow hay over here. Everything back here is all of our horse hay, which is the alfalfa. We got a bunch of these shavings. We actually got them like discounted because they're technically called like damaged, but they have not been my favorite shavings. They're very, very not fine, I should say. The normal shavings that I use are very fine and a lot easier to sift through. These are very thick and just like wood shavings. So I'll be excited when I get to go back to my normal shavings, but obviously, in this time, we definitely could just use any deal that we can get. So we got those discounted shavings and we have a ton of hay that'll last us for a while just with the uncertainty of, you know, if we're gonna have hay coming regularly or not. And then also with our pastures being flooded, I need to make sure that they have an ample amount of hay. So we have a ton of hay that we've been giving them. And then also the cows, same boat. Their pastures are really wet and we need to supplement them with a lot of good hay. So this also comes discounted for us as well because they're technically damaged bales. It's cow hay, it's no longer considered horse hay. So this is what happens when you leave animals like these in the barn. Willie, wherever he is, he's actually back here. Willie's in Trigger's stall because he literally jumped into Trigger's stall. So he's in there right now. But Dinky is the producer right now. She's watching over the tripod. Look at this tripod. The legs are all bent because they do things like this. She just knocked it over. She's very involved, that's what I'm gonna say. But they have been destroying my barn because we have to keep the donkey and the goats in here overnight and such. So they take advantage of the shaving bags, they open them up. 
they dump them out. I mean, he's currently working on dumping this one out, all of these out actually. So I'm just excited to get them out of here, but they obviously have to be in here while the pastures are flooded because the horses are not on night turnout. I usually would stick the goats and the donkey in one of the stalls, but it's not been working out like that. And Willie literally jumped into Trigger's stall, so he's been hanging out with Trigger. But it is time that we let these guys out because it is absolute madness in here right now. So I'm thinking for out back, hmm, who do I want to put? I need three horses in the back and two of those horses can't be June and Cash together. So maybe I'll do these three and then him. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do because they're easy to catch. I'm gonna do Blaze, Louie, and the mare out the back and then Cash and Trigger in the cow pasture. Are you ready, babies? I'm ready. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It's a like Christmas morning for me. Oh, it's just so exciting. We have been actually letting the goats and the donkey out um, during the day. So they've actually been out there. So their routine isn't actually that messed up, to be honest. Uh, but it's time to release the beast. Go on. It's been a while, girlfriend. So it is still pretty wet, but there is a lot of dry ground that they can go to. But I just need them to get out and start just being horses again. Look at her, she's happy. You can tell she either wants to roll or do something. The boys are like, let me out. Oh, I'm so happy that she's out there getting some fresh water. <laughs> Hi, Lulu. I'm excited for you. You've been such a good boy. My most anxious boy has been such a good boy. Come on, Louie. He's like, I don't remember how to go out. All right. Come on, Blaze. It's a Christmas miracle. Yay! Junie gets to graze, finally. The grass has emerged from the earth. And she gets to graze on actual grass instead of just hay. She seriously has a huge mouthful of grass. Oh, I'm so happy about this, you guys. Finally, it's been so long. Feels like it's been a lot longer than it probably has, but still. I don't know why, but of course, they're just utilizing the tiny bit of grass these two that are above the water which makes no sense go eat the real grass not the seaweed jeez horses i tell you hmm. now they're gonna start acting silly be careful Oh, so happy for them. I just love them. I love seeing horses act like horses. <laughs> okay, now for the other two. I'm kind of just letting the goats and, and donkey do what they need to do. They don't really like to walk through the water. That's right by the gate opening. So I open the Dutch door for them and they can kind of be normal again. Go on. Yay, so happy. Oh my gosh. Feels a bit normal around here right now, you guys. I know it's a very simple thing, but it's just very feeling of normal. Being able to let them out. It feels very normal. Probably because it's just felt so not normal the past like two weeks. So just letting them out and feeling like a normal routine just feels so normal. And it's like so weird to just crave normalcy when you do something every single day and it's like, it's just your normal. But then when your normal can't be your normal, it's like, you crave it so much. I know it's like, I'm just kind of letting my brain just speak, but it's just, you don't realize how much you love your normalcy and your routine. And I mean, I knew I loved it because I love it anyways, but when you can't have it and then you just, it feels so good. And it's like, not even for me though, it's for the horses. I just, I actually crave it for them. Not even for my own self, which is the funny part. But now I'm in my, oh, there was a little chicken in my tack room. 
I'm in my tack room. I gotta get two lead ropes and head stalls so I can move cash and trigger, which I just found too, so we're in good shape. All right, here we go. So I have my boys with me. <laughs> Trying to do this by myself because Mike's working on something else right now. So let's go. It's working. They're being good. And I'm also able to film. So that's how good they're being. I got Cash here on a lead or halter because he's not as good as my baby trigger. But I'm actually going around the front because it's really wet in the backyard still. So I'm letting them out from this big gate that we have over here. Junie is sharing her hay with the goats. She's missed them and never really even liked them. It's funny what you miss when you can't have it. Miss Dinky. It's raining, of course. It rained pretty hard on everyone, but honestly, I think it's good. Kind of give them a little bit of a bath since they've been stuck in their stalls. What are you guys doing? Look how dark Trigger looks. Oh my gosh, she literally looks like a black horse. They look short right here because the fence is so tall here. But we never put them over here. You can even see kind of how deep it is. Their hoofs are completely submerged under the water. But of course they're standing in the lowest part when there's definitely high ground over in this pasture. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy that they're able to graze. So they're grazing here. I'm not gonna go any further because it's like a swamp back here. But there's Blaze, Louie's over there, and Junie is just eating hay with the goats and Dinky. So it's pitch black outside, but they got rained on like you guys saw, but now it's time to let them back in and then we'll redo this again tomorrow because they're able to obviously kind of use the pastures now. Luckily the rain wasn't too heavy, so it didn't flood it like terribly too much, but just cleaned all the stalls. We're adding new shavings, which when we got the shavings, I told you guys that I wasn't like too thrilled about them because they're really like larger technically than what I'm used to using. It is kind of like a bummer to sift through them, but since we've been going through so many of them, it kind of worked out that we got them at like a discounted rate because we've been going through shavings like crazy. But now that my horses are able to kind of go back out, I'm excited that we won't be going through as many. And even so, we still have a bunch to go through. And then I can finally go back to my normal savings that I like. But they are cushy and they fill the stall well. So that's what we're working with. So Louie is ready. He's like, I've been dry for so long. I don't want to be wet anymore. So he's in through the Dutch door. So we're using the Dutch doors again, which is really cool. And then, feeling still and then we'll let everybody in and see how they act they've been super crazy today um i obviously didn't film too terribly much of it because it's just been raining and i didn't want to be out in the rainstorm it was like a lightning storm actually because there was so much lightning too so we're gonna see if they even want to come in i know louie will want to come in but i don't know they might not want to come in because they've been in for so long so they might just want to try to stay out there so we'll see what happens the goats and the donkey we're gonna let in the barn because we never had a chance to clean the barn just because with the rain and then we aren't able to switch our routine yet. Tomorrow we'll switch where it's half the horses in, half the horses out, and then the donkey and the goats will have a stall again. And then we're also gonna be removing the pigs this week. So a lot of changes happening in the barn. Petrolina, our chicken right there, is getting ready to go out to the coop tonight. So we're gonna take her over there when we go fill up the chicken's feed. We've got no horses 
wanting to come in yet. It's pretty dark out here. Come on! Come on! I see right here, this is Louie. And then I hear Junie coming, there she comes. Come on guys! Let's go! Let's go. Feeding time. So they came back. They were excited. Hi, Junie. It's like pitch black out, guys. I'm surprised it's even, even showing. Now, Louie. Where's Louie? Come on, Louie. Come on, Lulu. Come on, Louie. Here he comes. Woohoo! have some happy campers fresh water fresh bedding they got to go out and play today so i'm sure they're really happy right now right please and these guys think he got to roll in some fresh shavings that they made a huge mess up we're gonna go over to the other pasture to get cash and trigger but we're gonna take petrolina with us because we're gonna take the ranger so we're gonna multitask here and do a bunch of little things all at once i got her water and her food dish and then we have to set up my car because we got more feed today so we got more chicken feed that we have to fill up with. Petrolina, you're going for a ride. I'm so happy that she's gonna finally be able to do this because I hate that she's in the cage still. So we're gonna give her two days in the coop so she knows what the coop is and then she's out because she's really familiar with the other chickens. Guys, look who's back, it's Fluffy. We haven't seen her in so long and she's at the front porch, she just meowed. Fluffy! Mm. Fluffy, hi! Finally, it's dry enough for her to come back. We're trying to just tell the horses to go to the back pasture so that we can get them into the barn because this one connects. So I think this plan kind of works. So they're out there, which is great. They're running. Oh my gosh. We distracted the cows by obviously bringing the side by side in. Those horses were in a hurry to get back to the barn. But now we are going to bring Petrolina into the coop. Bye bye, Petrolina. Time to go hang out with the chickens. No spectralina's water. Now we're gonna fill up our food. My girls are finally laying eggs again. Obviously, I think the storm and everything was pretty traumatic for them, so they stopped laying. So they're laying again. Chickens are happy. They don't seem to have really minded anything going on. They're just ready to eat. But Petrolina's gonna sit right in over here. They all know Petrolina really well now. Dinner time. There you go, girly. And then in two days, we'll take her out. And she'll be a free chicken. Just pulled back up to the barn. Trigger let himself in because the gate back there is open and Cash was just right here. I'm surprised he didn't come inside. Hello, Trigger. How was your day over there with the cows? Okay, buddy, come on, let's go to your stall. Miss Dinky says, I would like to stay in here tonight. Good luck with that, Dinks. What is happening in here? Come on. Get out, everyone. Come on, Dinky. Well, Dinky, let's go. He doesn't like you. Sorry. Find another housemate. Go on. Go on. I'm so happy that they were all able to go out. Tomorrow we go back on routine, babies. Now I gotta go get Cash. Might let him through here. Cash! Forgot to close this. Hello! So everyone's back in. Feeling a lot of normalcy still because that's kind of like how our normal routine goes. We let everyone in. So that's feeling very normal. It's time to give grain and hay. Got some normal beggars here. Come on, get on out. These goats have become <laughs> the rulers of the shavings bags. They are up and down all of this stuff. They're really not like big jumpers and climbers, but ever since the shavings have been here, they love to jump on them and they go on top of the hay. It's quite weird. This donkey's trying to steal my grain. Having to sneak dinky grain because they like to steal it from her. And there's Willie, the top of his hay tower. 
so that's it for tonight. Everyone is eating hay and grain. Everyone's back in. And it went really well today. All right, you guys, well, that is it for today's video. Today was a big success here, getting back to some normalcy after Hurricane Ian. So I'm really happy about that. I feel a lot more confident now letting them out, just being able to see what the ground looks like. Obviously, we didn't know what was underneath all the water. I mean, we knew, but we just didn't know if there was anything like crazy. But we scanned the back pasture, everything looked good. And now that the cow's pasture is like almost completely dry, everything looked good over there. So I feel confident enough to be able to let them out and get them back on their routine. It's a little bit wet still, not even a little bit, like a good amount wet, but it's fine. A little water's not gonna hurt them. So we're gonna start tomorrow and we're gonna start to do our rotation where it'll be two in and three out and then switch them around so then the goats and the donkey can get out of the middle of the barn and we can finally clean the barn up really well because I'm very excited for the goats and the donkey not to be wandering in the middle of the alleyway. It just doesn't make sense. It's not practical, but it's a barn after all. So we're using it for what it's for. But if you guys liked today's video, if you guys are excited that my horses are finally out and getting some normalcy, make sure you go into this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. Like I said, I have us repairing all of the damage. Well, not all of it, but a good amount of the damage to get the farm back up in working condition that I will be posting later this week. So you don't want to miss that. And of course, you have a chance my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to. All right, you guys. I wanted just to quickly thank you guys all for your support um, on all my videos lately and all the kind words that you guys have been sending me over on my Instagram. Um, it is nice to be getting back to all the normalcy and I appreciate all of your kind words. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, but I will see you guys in the next one.